if the upper arm and lower arm of this function are equal then we say the limit function exists the upper arm of the function is known as left hand limit why the lower arm of the function is known as right hand limit this is the condition guiding the upper arm which is the left hand side and this is the condition guiding the lower arm which is the right hand side the right hand side that is the lower arm states that there was a function that the limit as x tends to 1 gave us 2 however we were not given the function and for the upper arm which is the left hand limit plug in x equal to 1 and we got undefined to avoid this that's why the condition says x must not be equal to 1 next step number two apply Lee Hopital rule Lee Hopital rule states that you should use any relevant mathematical strategy or application to remove the point of discontinuity from a function and when you do this you are going to get a hole after getting the result which we are going to see shortly using a graph here we are going to apply difference of two squares which states that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b in bracket a plus b in bracket applying difference of two squares this we take away this remember that one squared is the same thing as one which we have applied here and we are left with x plus one next you are going to take the limit of the function as x tends to one and we got two we solved the upper arm which is the left hand limit and we got two likewise the lower arm which is the right hand limit has two this means that this limit exists we can apply another method by using differentiation by using Lee Hopital rule we are going to differentiate each of these variable independently never think of quotient rule here it doesn't apply differentiate x squared and you will get 2x next differentiate 1 and you get 0 next differentiate x and you get 1 next differentiate 1 and you get 0 you are left with 2x next take the limit of this remaining function as x tends to 1 and 2 times 1 you got 2 which is the same as we obtained before make sure you check out other videos in pre-calculus. I will see you in the next video.